Now, one Aussie council is embracing a new claim to fame. <laughs> Port Macquarie, love Port Macquarie, is in New South Wales and it's home to what some are saying is the most underwhelming Christmas tree of all time. <laughs> I think it's the most 2022 Christmas tree of all time. Here's the moment the lights were switched on. <laughs> that was so dramatic. Wow. I don't know what they were unveiling there, but anyway, locals were quick to poke fun at the council's efforts with the rest of the nation soon to catch up. We have Peter Pinson, the Mayor of Port Macquarie Hastings Council, joining us now near the tree itself. Good morning to you, Peter. I guess you've got a pretty thick skin morning, there. I'm, I think you've copped a bit of flack for the tree. Well, you know, when you're the captain of the team, it all falls at your feet and uh, it certainly has fallen on mine over the last few days. But, uh, you know, um, I've got a great sense of humour, just like our wonderful community has. And uh, certainly they've been um, showing how witty they actually are on social media. <laughs> so all you can do is laugh and, uh, and come back from here. Yeah, I'm good seeing some here. tree debris behind you there, Peter. Now, please tell me you're not doing anything to that wonderful unveiling. I think it's a tourist destination now. Yes. <laughs> well, Port Macquarie already was a tourist destination and it seems that we're even more popular than what we were before, David. So, um, you know, uh, all publicity, they tell me, is good pu publicity. Oh, it's Instagrammable now. <laughs> I, I kind of want to go there myself to get a photo with that too. tree. You've gone viral. <laughs> I reckon Port Macquarie, I mean... I mean, it's beautiful as it is. It's beautiful as it is. It's as beautiful as it is. I think the trees put Port Macquarie again oh. on the map. <laughs> the world to see. Um, <laughs> what was the creative direction for this tree? <laughs> was there a creative direction? Well, there might be. Let's well, you know, we, we were going we were going for that, um, you know, that artistic abstract um, <laughs> kind of feel this year. And in in 2022, our theme, believe it or not, actually was reconnection. After all we've been through um, over these last few years uh, with, um, you know, fires, floods, COVID, yeah. and, and now, you know, a failed Christmas tree to <laughs> add to the list. Uh, our, our community has certainly reconnected over this Christmas tree, let me tell you. I think the theme of the year should be rebranded, as many politicians do, spin this to the theme this year is Drunk Uncle. <laughs> because I think that, for me, is what's happening here. I think you've set up a wonderful tradition here now. Mm. And for me, Peter, right. if you correct this next year or if anyone else corrects this next year, I think it needs to be more and more cooked each year. I love this. I think it's terrific. It, should, it should be trending. <laughs> Well, you know what, David and Tracy, a lot of our community have loved it. So now we're, what we're finding is there's a bit of a division within the community. Some want traditional and some want quirky. Um, unfortunately, we can only provide one Christmas tree, or we will only provide one Christmas tree this year. So we've gone back to the drawing board. We've decided um, up with the traditional, out with the quirky this year. Um, and look, really, I don't know next Christmas how we're going to top it. I think we should go into the, uh, to the council meeting room uh, right now. Uh, this morning and uh, start to talk about next year's Christmas and what we could do. I'm happy to I zoom in. Wait. Happy yeah. to zoom in on that meeting. I just want to know who the designer <laughs> is, how we're going to make this work next year. I want the person who, like, throws up the lights to still be on the tree next year somehow, <laughs> tangled in the lights. I've got so many thoughts. Dressed as an elf. Can't wait to see it. Are you dressed in it as an elf? This, Absolutely. Or, please you know? don't change this. Yeah, it's I wonderful. Keep it. It's just wonderful, Peter. <laughs> Well, we're glad that you guys have enjoyed it as much as the rest of the world. <laughs> it's a um, and era. certainly, we've had people, we've had people coming into town specifically to see our tree. So, um, <laughs> you know, the tree will remain. You'd be happy to know because it is a beautiful Norfolk pine, and that's Good. what we're known for on our coastline here. Yep. Uh, so the tree will remain, but the sad deflated um, baubles, uh, oh. as deflated as we all felt after those lights were turned on, we'll be removing those and, uh, and the lights that uh, just uh, didn't seem to go according to plan. So, yeah. But we'll have a traditional Christmas, and Christmas is beautiful in the Port Macquarie Hastings region Perfect. anytime. Don't you touch that tree. You tell that crane <laughs> to get away from that tree. That tree is beautiful. Peter Pinson, thank you so <laughs> much. You, the Peter. festive fail, I think, has given them festive fame. I love Port Macquarie. Yeah. It's a Love beautiful it. area and that is a tourist destination. Absolutely. G'day, it's Ali. And Carl. Thanks for watching the Today YouTube channel. <laughs> Subscribe now for brand new videos every day and exclusive bonus clips. Ali, say please. Please?
Why? Ease. I don't know. <laughs>